of Stevie's. What? A Stevie Faux video on a Monday? Yeah, that doesn't happen very often, but... So we've started Harvest, but I want to send a big thank you out to Miss Stevie because she has agreed to kind of take over the reins, as it were, for, uh, for Harvest. Uh, hopefully we'll be seeing a couple of videos from her. She is at a family thing, so she's not with me today. But next week it's supposed to be pretty nice, so hopefully I can get her to do a couple of videos. Um, and then maybe another Fury Friday for me because I mean harvest is you know, all day, all week thing, right? And a bunch of a uh, bunch of our buddies are down in Oklahoma for the stubborn American rally, and yeah, we're not there. But I hope everybody's having a great time, and I hope everybody gets home safe. All the videos look like it's been a bunch of fun. Thank you to Miss Stevie for doing the last Fury Friday. We I, I rode with her um, so that she could kind of get a feel for it, you know. But now she'll be doing it um, by herself. So those 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 videos will be an absolute blast. And I've got to mess with my mirrors here a little bit. I was trying to do the flop them and put them underneath the bars, but I wasn't a fan. Maybe if my bars were up straight, but. I don't know, I've got my bar set up right now where if I really wanted to I could put my windshield on, so. Today we were gonna we were gonna go cut beans and with the dew this morning and stuff, it just it wasn't gonna work. So uh, we decided just a little bit ago that we weren't going to uh, going to work today, we'd hit it tomorrow. So what uh when I when I when we made the decision, I thought, man, I'm gonna go ride the Road King because Miss Stevie's gone. She's at a family deal, and uh, I thought, yeah, I'm gonna go ride the Road King. Well, I haven't ridden it for so long. I ran down and I plugged in the battery tender because it hadn't been plugged in. So okay, so did some other stuff, and then I thought, well, I better better check the air pressure in the tires. First, I had to I had to pa charge up all my camera gear because it was all dead. So I had to charge all my camera gear, my battery I put on the back of my helmet, uh, still isn't charged because I'm just gonna have to old school it and change the battery out in the GoPro when it dies. That'll be a lot of fun, it's always a ton of fun. And so then I went down and I got the bike out and I'm like, man, I better check the tire pressure. So I checked the tire pressure and yeah, it needed tire, it needed air, so okay. So I went over, fired up the air compressor and then remembered, oh yeah, my, my air hose broke. So I got a new one. So I was like, okay, I'll grab the new one out quick. So I grabbed the new one and it's like, oh yeah, that doesn't have any ends on it. And I already threw the old air hose away like a moron and didn't take the ends off of it. So I'm hunting around the garage trying to find ends. Finally found some ends and it's like, hey, I need Teflon tape. So I gotta try to find Teflon tape. Then I found the Teflon tape and then I put the ends on it. And then I plugged in the air compressor and all that. Then I went over to fill up the tires and and then it's like, man, I get my jacket out. I was like, I'm a jacket out. And, oh yeah, there's the liners laying there. So it's like, I gotta put the liner back in the jacket. And I did all that. And then the mirrors were off because I was swapping them. So I was like, I gotta put the mirrors back on. And then I did all that. And then went inside and I had one GoPro battery charged and a couple others that were half charged. And I'm like, that's good enough. I grabbed them all. And now here we are, finally. And now I need gas. But man, what a beautiful day. It's like 65 right now. It is windy. It wasn't windy this morning. If it was windy this morning, we could have got out into the field. If you guys don't know, beans will pick up moisture. And it's not so much the actual bean that will pick up moisture, it's the pods that they're in. And then when you try to run them through the combine, uh, the, the it won't be able to open up the pods because they'll be wet and they're kind of they're kind of squishy they're not you gotta wait till they're until they're dried up and then you can just pinch them and they'll pop open but if they're wet you can't get them open you got almost like i gotta tear them open that's why you gotta wait corn you don't have to I mean, beans are a little bit more finicky but i did um uh, yeah i'll wait till i get gas i got something to talk about with you guys
my stuff. So, uh, so I was considering trading the Road King in and buying a soft tail, okay? Um, and and the soft tail that I was wanted to get was a low rider S. Now, um, the reason that I wanted to do that was Miss Stevie's soft tail is such an easier bike to manage than mine is. It's uh, it's easier to move around and stuff like that. Which that all set aside, it, it rode better than my touring bike does. So I'm like, man, I want I want a bike that rides good like that, you know. And so I was talking to my buddies and I was talking to Jace at Frontier and we were we were really getting ready to sit down and uh, work out a deal on getting the Lowrider S. And I'm looking at all the stuff that I want to do to the Lowrider S and it's like, you know, in the back of your head, it's always like, man, I've got a bike that's got all that done to it already, you know? So it's like, well, and I was like, well, the, my my handlebars make my shoulders hurt, right? Because, you know, I've, I've said that a hundred times in different videos. So that was one of the, that was one of the reasons. It's like, well, I could change the handlebars, but man, I really don't want to change the look of this bike because it's perfect the way that it is, you know? And then it's like, well, I'll just get a new bike then and somebody else can have this one and I'll sell it. And, but I'm not going to sell it now. And I'll tell you why as soon as I get going here. Yeah, okay, so I'm not going to sell it now because I talked to somebody at a parts company that I talked to quite a bit. <laughs> I'll leave it at that. So I was like, hey man, this is what I'm thinking. I said, I'm thinking that I'm gonna put T-bars on my Road King. And he's like, okay. He goes, you gonna put a fairing on it? And I was like, no. No, I'm not gonna put a fairing on it. I'm just gonna put T-bars on it. He's like, yeah, that'll look cool. But he said, you know, your apes look cool the way they are, right? And I was like, yeah, they look cool, but this is what it's doing to me. And I was, he's like, oh yeah. He said, well, that's simple. He said, that's just because you're running around without a windshield and you've got a seat with no back support whatsoever. So to stop yourself from sliding off, you're holding on with your shoulders. And I was like, how come I never figured that out on my own? You know, that's kind of what I was going through in my head there. I was like, how come I never figured that out? But he's right. That's that's exactly what I'm doing. He said, so buy yourself a different seat. And I was like, okay. And I said, okay, but, but what about this? I, I don't understand why my wife's soft tail rides better than my road king. And he said, well, he said, I mean, you could do suspension on it and stuff. But he said, you've already got the premium Harley suspension. And I was like, yeah. And he said, that's not horrible suspension. He said, it's nowhere near as good as Legends and stuff. But he said, it's not horrible suspension. He said, where do you got it set at? And I said, I've got it set at like five, I think is what it was at. And he said, yeah, for riding by yourself? And I said, yeah. And he said, yeah turn it down to zero and I said well man you know you've seen me before but you know you know how big of a guy I am and he's like yeah turn it down to zero which I had talked to a buddy of mine when I put these shocks on that works at Frontier and he said whatever the the book the owner's manual says cut it in half and I was like oh what the world is going on right here Jesus forgives and heals. Yes, he does. Lord, forgive us. Yes, 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 yes. I agree. Battery level is low. Okie dokie. I did not plug that in either, did I? Where was I? Oh, yeah. So I talked to my buddy at the local Harley shop when I put these shocks on. He said, whatever the book says, cut it in half. So for my height and for my weight and for my bike, I was supposed to have it at like 10, the book said, because it goes up to like like 20, the adjustments go up to like 20 or something like that. So I cut it down to five. And I talked to this other guy and he's like, yeah, he said, just cut it down to zero. He said, and go write it. So that was a couple, that was quite a while ago that I talked to him. And then today I was putting 
getting ready to get the bike out and stuff. So I thought, man, I'm going to do that. I'm going to turn the suspension down to zero. And I turned it down to zero in the back of my head. I'm like, no, I ain't going to work. <laughs> That's too low. So I turned it to one. And I cannot explain to you guys how much better this bike rides. And then he said, after you turn it down to zero, he said, once you get that other seat, he said, you're going to be just fine on that bike. I was like, okay, cool. So the seat that I ordered is, I ain't going to tell you till it gets here, because I don't know when it's going to get here. Um, it's not a custom job, but it's the seat that he recommended, but the aftermarket parts place that he works at, doesn't sell them so I had to go through them directly even though it is made by the same people that that uh, seats he sells so <laughs> yeah it's it's a little bit confusing but so that's the thing so my bike's riding better now that I actually know how to adjust the suspension correctly and he said man even when you load that bike down because you don't have a tour pack when you load that bike down, then turn it to five. And I will say that when we went to Eureka Springs and when we went to Sturgis and back, it did ride better with the load on it. So that does make total sense. But I'm apparently not smart enough to figure that out. So, and I was like, but yeah, man, I love my seat. I love how far it sets me back and stuff like that. And he goes, yeah, you can get a seat that does that and still has back support, man. I was like, yeah, but it won't be a solo seat. And he goes, you can get a solo seat that does that. And then he's like, I don't know why you'd want to. You guys will just have to wait and see the seat that I ordered because it's, uh, it's not something that I normally would have done. So I think I'm going to end this video here and I'm just going to go for a ride, guys. Even though I can't listen to music on my Senna now, with the Senna 50R, you've still got quite a while before the battery goes dead after the first time it warns you. So... I can, maybe I can still listen to music on my way home, but I got a ways to go home now because I've, uh, I've done ridden pretty good distance now, so. But everybody, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more stuff like this, subscribe. Hit the bell notification so you know when we load up next, and until next time, everybody stay cool, and you're going to see Miss Stevie in the next couple videos on the road.